Hey, what up, Wolves? It's Mr. Heaton here coming to you uh, with J.D. Santos, and we're going to talk about the mock election that's coming up. So, J.D., tell us about it. Um, okay, so... Okay, so um, basically what the mock election is, is um, it's to help students get into the habit of vo voting and our civics class is um, participating in a mock election. And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to get students to use their voice and power uh, to get into the habit of voting and to um, making sure that they are backing up their beliefs and fun fact in 20 in the 2020 elections 80 million people didn't vote which means 80 million people didn't use their power and instead gave it to others who oppose what they believe in so the sooner you start to get into the habit of voting the better our future will be now in our community and in future presidential elections and so how do you vote in our mock election so on monday you will receive a ballot and advisory so just fill out the top, top portion uh, with all your correct information and this will determine uh, that or make sure that you are joined in a raffle. Uh, and on Monday, if you turn in your ballot, you'll get four ballot, four tickets. And on Tuesday, there'll be three tickets turned in. Uh, if you fill out the ballot carefully, reading all the information um, and everything is designed by also students in our civics class. So it's much easier for people to understand and it gives a lot more information just so you know like what you're filling out and who you're voting for exactly. Um, and then you're going to attach the ballot together and turn in the ballot box. And after that, um, you've shared your voice already and you've contributed to the community to making it a better place. So you should feel really proud of yourself once you're done with that ballot and you're done voting. So um, probably a lot of you don't know the importance or might not care for the importance of voting. But since we wanted students to get involved, uh, we wanted to give something in return. And if you vote, you will get I voted stickers, which is just really nice to have. Um, and then you'll be entered and like I mentioned before, you will be entered in a raffle to win gift cards such as like $10 gift cards or $15 gift cards and a bag of chips and just to add like the satisfaction that you voted because not a lot of people get to vote and not a lot of people will vote so you'll have that satisfaction and so when is our mock collection the mock collection is next week so you'll be seeing this on friday and it will start on monday you'll start to vote on monday and it goes from the 11th to the 14th so uh, you should definitely come out and support uh, the students who planned it out and just be there for your community and the real election uh, just in case you are more interested in what's going on with our school board is on november 12th so those are really important dates to have and for more information just in case you aren't feeling uh, more confident in this ballot or you do have more questions uh, we have a group of students working on a mock election podcast so not only if you want to go and support some students here who like worked really hard on the podcast, you can also gain a lot more information on what this mock election is and what you're voting for exactly. And uh, I've also attached another two other uh, links to a Ballotpedia, which is um, a really easy website to use that sums up a lot of information that a lot of you might not understand. And it's really easy and useful to use. And it just sums up uh, what's going on with the Denver School Board and the elections and all that, who's being nominated and what the different propositions are. And the Blue Book, um, also because it's just really important to understand, not just now, but in the future, it's for future elections and all of that. And that's the end. And I hope you guys vote um, next Monday and make your voice be heard. All right, folks, make sure you turn in your ballots. Thank you, JD and the civics classes for all the work they've done. Um, and have a great day, everybody.